an historic night at the 2016 NCHA Great American Insurance Summer Spectacular and that's because Armando Costanero didn't just win the final but he also won the Triple Crown and his partner in that was Watch Me Whip and tonight you scored a 223 and a half. Congratulations to you Armando. Thank you. How much pressure was there on you coming into this event? Uh, there was, you know, I think there was just pressure of myself wanting to do good and try to, you know, win and win the Triple Crown. But I tried, you know, just to focus on uh, training them horses at home and make sure they're working good and stuff. And so I just tried to um, not think about it too much. Okay. Now the score that you had to beat as you were coming out was a 220. What was your game plan at that point? Just tried to have clean cuts and uh, I knew that, you know, the mare was going to be good. She's been good the whole show. Um, but, you know, clean cuts and tried to cut the chaos that we watched and then we thought they were good. Okay. And you were an instant crowd favourite because the place just erupted as soon as the horse started, you know, showing off what it can do. And it really is well, well named because we are doing exactly that, watching your whip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I was, you know, I was a little bit nervous and I was just glad that I got it done. Okay, can you describe your run to us, uh, in particular that second cow? Um, you know, you could hear the crowd inhale as you ran towards the, the judges stand. Uh, it could have gone very badly, but the horse really held on there. Yeah, um, first cow was a great cow that we picked and uh, she was a little bit, a little brammer cow. Uh, she was great. It was a great start of the run. The mare was good. Then uh, the second cow, I think, it was uh, was a yellow, maybe a yellow malt or something. And as soon as I went to cut her, she, you know, she kind of woke up and looked pretty, pretty quick. But I was kind of committed to her, so I had to cut. The cut then wasn't very pretty. But, you know, it was the kind of cow that the mare likes, you know, that real tough cow that the mare really puts her ears back and uh, gets a hold of the cow when they're tough. And the cow went to the judge's stands and back, and that mare never took her eye off her and ended up working out because a real tough cow got some points there. And at the end of the run, you were awarded a 221 uh, with a review, uh, and that review went some 20 minutes or so, um, which I think must have you must have been feeling sick in the stomach. Physically, how was that for you? Yeah, no, I was a little worried. Uh, I thought, you know, I was good on that quit, but you know, on the heat of the moment, you never know because it's like less than a second deal. Um, but I thought that I was good. I, I would. I, you know, but I wasn't sure because it was so quick. Yeah. How has the horse developed? How have you training-wise? How have you how have you managed to keep um, the horse you know, at the top of its game each for each major event? No, well, she she's just a good horse. You know, you don't you don't have to do much with her. Just work fresh cows and let her you know do her deal and. No overwork her, just, you know, let her have some days off too and um, just make sure she's holding them stops because she can get a little too smart sometimes and, you know, uh, cheat a little bit, but, you know, just kind of hold them stops and uh, make sure she's working that cow like she's always is. Now you had this win in front of your parents, uh, you, you made history, how does it feel? Has it sunk in yet? Not quite yet. <laughs> how are you going to be celebrating? Oh, probably sleep to 12 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> you might give yourself the day off tomorrow? Yeah, it's been a couple of days that we've been starting early and uh, you would, would them sure appreciate a little bit of sleep. Okay, well you've had um, some fantastic competition here that you've created. Are you tempted to fly home to Brazil and, uh, you know, I guess get patriotic with the Olympics going on? No, I'll stay here and, and uh, keep working three olds and get ready for the next maturity. You're dedicated, no doubt about you. Congratulations and job well done. Thank you.